24 years ago on June 12, the world stood still for Nigeria to witness an unprecedented event. An election that will be dubbed the freest and fairest. The result of the election was without doubt. Moshud Kashima Wabiola of the Social Democratic Party defeated his rival of the National Republican Convention, Bashir Tofa, convincingly. But somewhere in the corridors of power, the decision was rescinded and the election annulled. It is true that the presidential election was generally seen to be free, fair, and peaceful. However, there was, in fact, a huge array of election malpractices virtually in all the states of the Federation. This was met with stiff resistance. <laughs> Assuming there was good faith on the part of government, all matters relating to the election should have gone to the tribunal set up by law for such cases and should only have been initiated by persons or bodies that had genuine interest in the election. Instead, we are being told that the judiciary behaves so badly that I, Moshur Kashima Wala Wale Abiola, should be penalized for his conduct. It is incredible. In view of all this, I find the conclusion unfortunate but inescapable that the federal British government is guilty of bad faith, pure and simple. No one has accused me of any offense against any known electoral law or regulation. The people of this country went to polls on Saturday, June 12, 1993, and without let or hindrance chose me as their president. Didn't they? They do. The streets became filled with protesters demanding the return of their mandate. But the military junta had other plans. All the happenings was covered by Channel's television, whose team followed the events all the way. Took out in their millions to vote for a presidential candidate. What compounded the already heated controversy was the death of the politician, which was viewed as an attempt to stamp out democracy from Nigeria. The tempo is rising, and I'm talking at the level of the masses of our people. And from the crowd you have seen in court today, and there are some of them who have introduced themselves from um, coming from the east or from the north and different parts of the country. And I think the mass boycott that has greeted the revision of voters' register has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the Nigerian people have made up their mind and that the tempo is rising. As it stands, Nigerians hold two days to heart that connects them to democratic freedom, May 29 and June 12. Which holds more relevance is a debate that will always be heated. But one thing is certain, June 12 still holds the title of what free and fair represents in the meaning of democracy for Nigeria. Oralu Ashonibare, Channel Television News.